one thing that we should not uh, forget is the fact that um, no immediate arrest is going to happen. Uh, Putin is not stupid. He's not going to travel uh, abroad uh, to a country where he might uh, be arrested. So in some ways, of course, it is historical. It's a really big case, one that has, uh, you know, the war in Ukraine and the alleged war crimes has been getting so much international attention from the media, from the public. So in, in that regard, it's really historical. Uh, um, uh, but at the same time, I think we sh shouldn't get too excited because any potential trial we're not going to see in a month or in a year. Um, so it, it's going to be a bit of a wait until we see what actually comes out of all of this. Uh, these kinds of cases that go after leaders that are far away from the actual uh, uh, perpetration of crimes physically tends to be uh, challenging. So as we have seen in many other uh, trials and many other courts, that's always difficult. But again, it's also not impossible. Uh, uh, so, you know, we have seen cases of, for example, Radovan Karadzic at the International Criminal Tribunal for the Former Yugoslavia. He was also not there physically for any of the torture, uh, any of the murders, and yet he is now serving a lifelong sentence uh, for many of those crimes. So it's, it's difficult, uh, um, but it's not impossible.